Hello, welcome to this channel Gain Java Knowledge and today in this video we are going to learn how to generate Swagger documents for Spring Web Flux functional style programming model using Open API. Okay, let's get started. So I have already created one Spring Boot Web Flux demo in our previous video. So here we can see the code. Here I have defined functional endpoint. So this is my handler class. So this is student handler. For this class, <coughs> for this class endpoints, I will generate the Swagger documentation by using Open API 3. So here I will go to router, router implementation class. In this class, I have defined these rest endpoints. So these are the URLs and HTTP method types. So for these four methods, I will generate Swagger documentation and will create Swagger for these APIs and will test all the APIs through Swagger that we have written here. So first what we need to do, we need to add two dependencies that will support to open API Swagger UI documentation. So first I will go to pom.xml file and here inside pom.xml file i will just add two dependencies at the top of dependencies so here i will just paste these two dependencies one is spring doc open api web flux core and second is spring doc open api web flux ui and we have added two dependencies and now we are going to generate swagger implementation for our functional style coding so what we will do i will go to our router implementation class here i have defined all the rest endpoints url and here i will create one more new class to declare open api definition so first here i will create one package that is config package and here i will just generate one new class and we'll create new package config swagger config and in this class i will just define annotation that is at the rate configuration annotation so here i just need to define open api definition so here i will define annotation that is at the rate open api definition and here i just need to define info and inside info we need to define at the rate info annotation and that is io swagger v3 oas annotation info and here inside this annotation we just need to define details so here i will just first parameter will be title there are multiple parameters so this is a spring web flux demo web flux functional endpoint so this is our title and next we need to define the version so version we can define any version so here i will just define 1.0 and next we can define the description so description we can write anything swagger documentation using open api so here spelling of title is wrong so this is the open api definition for that we have created one separate class if we want we can define in our main class also and after that the next step is we need to tell spring boot web flux these are my rest endpoints uh, these are my rest endpoints for which we need to generate the swagger documentation that we need to use the annotation that is at the rate router operations so here i will just define this annotation at the rate router operation because as we can see here there are multiple rest endpoints contained by one router function if our router function is containing multiple rest endpoints, then we need to define annotation at the rate router operations. And inside at the rate router operations, we will use 
at the rate router operation for each endpoint so for first endpoint we will use at the rate router operation so our router operation will be list type so here I will just define the list and here what we need to do we need to declare small braces and inside this route operation we need to define the path of our api so we will just copy the path of our first rest endpoint that is get students so here i will just paste it and after defining the path we need to define its produces type so here i will just it will be also list type so here i will define media type and media type we are going to use spring framework and that will be application json value that is we are going to use and after defining produces we need to define method type but type of http method we are going to use so here we will define method that is equal to requested method dot get so here we can see so here we can see this is get type so after declaring this what we need to do next we need to define bean class in which class we have declared this method so i will go to get all student and we can see the name of class that is student handler so here what i will do here i will just define bean class and that will be student handler and student handler dot class after declaring the class we need to define the method name bean method that will be get all student so we can copy it from here and paste it here so that will be inside the double quote and after defining this method we need to define operations what type of responses we are expecting so operation will use at the rate operation annotation at the rate operation and inside at the rate operation annotation we need to define operation id so here what i will do i will just define operation id and operation id will be the same i am going to use that is get all student is the method name so here i will just copy it and next we need to define the responses what type of response model we are expecting so responses also contain at the rate response annotation at the rate api response annotation that is swagger annotation and inside this annotation we need to define the response code what we are expecting so here what i will do <coughs> response code so response code will be 200 if it is successful we can define any number of responses and second we need to define the description so we can get all students successfully and next we need to define the content so content we need to define for I will use at the rate content annotation and inside this content I just need to define the schema and schema will also use at the rate schema annotation what type of schema we are going to use so here schema will use the class name so here I will just define implementation class so that will be student class because we are returning the object that is student object so here i will just define student class as a response <coughs> so here i have defined and here we can see it's showing some error that is red marks we can see so multiple markers at this line so we can define multiple responses so for this we need to use curly braces because we can define multiple it will be the list and save it 
so it's again showing some red error so here i have just removed this and use this bracket here so here we can see i have added one router operation so here we also need to change so curly brace is really fast after that now we need to import so here i will just import media type of spring framework so we have done this wagon documentation for our first api that is get students now i will just run this application and we'll check if it is working or not so what i will do first i will go to our main class and we'll start this application run as java application so here we can see our application has started at port number 8080 now we will go to browser and here i will just type localhost 8080 swagger docs swagger ui dot html so here we can see we are getting white label error page so first we need to check our application dot properties file so first i will stop the server and we need to go to our application dot properties file that inside source main sources folder and we just need to paste these three properties here first here we can see spring dog api docs group enable is equal to true after that it will work and here we need to define the url that is swagger ui dot html and third is spring dog api docs path so it will generate the api documentation so if you know all the requirement for your task in the before starting that you can start to write the api doc directly if you do not know all the requirement then add this property then you you just need to add this property so this property will generate automatically generate api doc for you so now i will start the application and we'll check run as java application so here first i will check on console it has started or not it has started now go to browser and refresh it so here we can see the swagger documentation for our functional endpoint that is get because we have added the router operation only for get api get all student so here i will just click try out and execute this api and here we can see the response response body that is 200 with list of all students so like this we can generate open api documentation that is swagger docs for our apis so now i will go back and here we can go to our router implementation class that is router implementation class and if we want to generate for another api that is get also get by id and there is one more api that is post so we can also need to add router operation for this so here i will just copy the router operation <coughs> so i can just copy all the router operation from here up to here and we'll just comma separated paste it here and save it so here we just need to change the url path so here i will first write to get student by id so here i will just updating the url get student by id and request method is get and here we need to check bean method so here i will go it will find by id this method is find by id so i will just paste find by id and here we just need to use operation id as same find by id and here we can write the response code head 200 get student by id get student successfully and our implementation and return type will be the same as student class and as we know we can define multiple api responses so here what we can do i will just copy this api response from here and we'll just paste it here so here i will write one more api response that is a ticket api response and here i can define response code 
so it will be 404 if student is not find by id and we can define the description description here student not found by id student not found by given id so like this we can add multiple api response code and here we are also passing one input parameter that is student id so here we just need to define the parameter name also so here i will just define parameters and inside parameter we need to use curly braces because there can be multiple parameters so here i will just define at the rate parameter annotation and here we just define need to define in is equal to parameter in parameter in toad path and <coughs> here we need to define the parameter name so here i will just copy this student underscore id and we'll paste it here so this i have done so now i will start our application so i first i will format it now i will start our application again and we'll check on swagger console stop it run as java application so here we can see our application has started now i will go to browser and here first we can see there was only one rest endpoint in a student handler now i will refresh it so here now we can see there are two rest endpoints second is get student by id so now i will try it out and here i will just pass the student id to and we'll execute this so here we can see the response 200 and response body contains this object and like this we can add the swagger documentation for our third api and we can, for example here we will go and add the documentation for our post api also so here i will just copy this router operation we have formatted it So router operation, I will copy this all. I have just created this new one for post API. So here I will just paste and we'll check. So here I need to verify and need to import add the rate request body. So what I did here, here third router operation I have added and for this API the path is add student. So we can see here our post API path URL path that is add student and our method name is function name is add student. So here I have added the method request method is post and the class is student handler class where we have defined our this post method and bean method is add student and operation id is student add student and response code 200 successful operation and we are returning the string so here i have defined the implementation class as string dot class and inside request body i have just defined the class name that we are sending as a request body that is student class so now i will save it and we'll stop the server and run it again after that we will check it on swagger and we'll test this api it's working or not so first i will run as java application so here we can see our application has started at port number 8080 now i will go and refresh this page it again so here we can see now three rest endpoints should be there so here we can see these are three add student so here i will go and try it out and just need to add the body so inside id i will just pass 101 and name any name so i will 
send this request execute and now we will check the response body it is as a string so inside response body we can see 101 is id and this is the student name so like this we can generate the swagger api docs for our api that we are going we have created by using swagger spring webflux functional endpoint so if you want to check the swagger doc api docs implementation so we will copy this and go here and we'll just paste it here so localhost 8080 and hit so here we just need, need to remove one backslash so here we can see our open api documentation So like this we can generate swagger documentation for our API using OpenAPI 3. Okay, thanks for watching this video.